Welcome to All Talk. It's our talk, <laughs> our real girl views between two really super unicorn girls. Real girls. You're gonna start Ooh! seeing. Um, but I know like a lot of you have questions for what to expect on your upcoming year and there are, you know, a lot of you who are going into high school and you want to know, like, what is high school like? Like, you want to get all the deets and stuff. We're going to set it straight for you today. We're going to set it all the way In straight. high school, like, you get a catalog of classes that you can take, what you can do, electives, core classes. Yes. There's, like, four different types of sciences, 20 different types of math. Right. 32 types of English. Like what the fuck? Your you. freshman year is your foundation yes. of your whole high school career. That means your foundation for your grades, right? Your GPA mm -hmm. and um, your rank. Your yeah, your rank, everything, and like yeah. your status. Okay. To keep the grades up. Mm -hmm. You got to um, just like it's important. It's yeah. really important. And yeah. taking. Pre-AP classes yeah. is one thing. And AP even, because now yeah. freshmen can take AP. They can't. They can't. There's a uh, human. There's a human geography AP class right now. People are telling me that when mm -hmm. um telling me this when I was coming into high school, you're like going you're gonna to lose drift. your friends, you're gonna drift. And I was like, no, yeah. me and my friends are so close. Things happen, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be harder to trust people. You're gonna think that yeah. so and so is your friend, but then when they do something that proves that they aren't, you mm -hmm. know, you might, you know, you might. Question your your friendship. So keep your circle small. Yeah, it's gonna dwindle down by the time you get to your senior year anyway. So um, and really good though. It's yeah. really good to have like you know a small um, circle. A small circle because then you can tell everything to one friend. Mm -hmm. But plus, you're not gonna see all these all these friends all the time because mm -hmm. high school is huge friend is. Yeah, people are huge. The place is huge. You see at least one person that you have never seen before in your life every, every day. single day. Um, so once you get past freshman year, mm. you're gonna get to sophomore year. Yeah, and sophomore I mean sophomore year, it's not a bad year. It's just kind of that limbo kind of year. Like you're not exactly an upperclassman. No, you're technically still an underclassman, but mm -hmm. you think that just because you've been in high school for a whole year, like you know everything. <laughs> um, Soph being a sophomore is not that great. Being a sophomore say. is like being 17 years old. Okay, you're just like. What can I do with this? But it's better than being 16. Yeah, because you're you know, one year older. It just sounds better. I'm a sophomore. I'm not one a year freshman. closer to um, being 18, right? So when you're a sophomore, yes. you're one year closer to being, being an upperclassman. Yeah, an upperclassman. Mm -hmm. you know? When it comes to sophomore, you're just, you know, try, try, try. Um, that's like the last, that's the most easiest year. Because mm -hmm. the next year, junior year, it goes hard as it's a It's going to be stressful as hell, okay? Mm -hmm. Junior year was my least favorite year. My too. Junior year is the hardest year, okay? Junior year sucks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sophomore year, cherish it. Being an underclassman, the best yeah. thing about it is that it is, um, it's not hard. Yeah. Like the workload, it seems a like like a lot, but really, it's not that much. And take advantage if it's not that hard right now. Take advantage. Get good yes. grades, you know, because junior year is when your grades start to count. Don't be lazy. And you start seeing, okay, I need to care about my GPA. Freshman year, I effed up. Seniors. Woo! I know. 